Let me ask you, how did you get started selling fabric? Because I was in the mode of buying fabric. And I was like, oh my gosh, these people buy a lot of fabric. Because I had just started quilting. Today, I have a special treat. I'm going to interview Chris, who owns the Country Quilts and Fabric Store here in Willits, California. Let's go in. Hello, crafty travelers. This is Chris, and she owns a wonderful little quilt shop in Willits, California called Country Quilts and Fabrics. Chris, thank you so much for allowing me to do a video today with you and all your fabric is gorgeous. It looks like eye candy to me. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> so let me ask you, how did you get started selling fabric? Well, I told my husband I think I could sell fabric and that's really how it started. And he was like, really? I'm like, yeah, we could just like, you know, buy a little bit here and there, sell it online, start a little online store and just sell fabric. And because um, I was in the mode of buying fabric and I was like, oh my gosh, these people buy a lot of fabric because I had just started quilting when my son and his wife got pregnant with their first child. So I was like my grandson, grandchild at the time, we didn't know it was going to be a boy, um, needed a quilt. So I learned, taught myself how to quilt, make quilts and just thought, well, I should get a piece of the pie if all these people are buying quilts. I'm not buying quilt fabric and making all these quilts. I had no idea what the industry held. So it just kind of grew from there. And when when was that? What year was that? It was about three years ago when I had the idea. So, so 2021. 2021. Mm -hmm. And so you actually had an online business first. We started online first. Good. And then when, uh, what made you decide to open a store? Locals found out that we had fabric and people wanted to start coming to our house to see the fabric because you could buy fabric online anywhere, but you can't actually touch it when you buy it online. And most of us quilters want to touch it. We want to see it. We want to feel it. We want to put it next to something that we have. We want to make sure that it's the right fabric being a little risk averse, uh, I found a small shop, a small, small shop. Um, it was like 800 square feet. It was really small. And I was like, well, this, I could, let's start in a small shop and let's see what happens. And it was very apparent very quickly we were going to need a bigger space. Um, we were just coming out of the lockdown pandemic time and um, things were starting to open up. So people were really, I feel like people were really um, craving camaraderie and community and being back together. And so it, it quickly grew really yeah. quickly. Grew. Yeah. It was a cute little shop, but it was cute, you, but it was small. So then in this shop, when did you move into this big store? Right about the time our lease was up with the first one. <laughs> as soon as our lease was up, we had a one year lease. Um, as soon as that lease was up, we had already been ready to move into this shop. So within a year, we moved to this shop and we're over double the size of what we were in the old shop. I soon found out that long arming was a thing too, and I love it. So I bought a long arm machine and started doing long arming for customers. And, um, so yeah, I had a, I had a huge long arm and a fabric and we, we rubbed elbows in the small shop. Fabulous, fabulous. <laughs> shop, oh. We've just been here a year. So oh, just a year. So we've been open as a brick and mortar for two years. Okay, okay, wonderful. You said you just started quilting before you opened the store, so, but you, you were a sewer before that. Yeah, I started sewing all the time, all the way from when I was a little girl. My mom sewed, my grandmother sewed, um, but I had never had a chance to make a quilt. Um, 
with my nonny. My nonny was a quilter. Uh -huh. Back in the time where you used your cereal boxes to make <laughs> templates and you cut everything out with a scissor, <laughs> we did not have um, back then rotary cutters and the really nice tools that we have now. I remember when my nonny bought her first rotary cutter and mat. It was a big deal. I never had a chance to quilt with my nonny. Um, and I had a new grandson coming and I was like, he needs a quilt. And so I had to teach myself. And to my benefit, um, a lot of um, places, a lot of quilt shops and a lot of quilters were going to YouTube at the time because we were secluded and people still needed that community. So I literally learned to quilt and make quilts on YouTube. As so, many have, as many have. Yes, I truly did. And I mean, I had sewing skills. I made my kids' clothes. I competed um, in 4-H. I made 4-H outfits. I took sewing in high school. So I had a lot of basic understanding. Um, actually got my sewing machine out of the garage to make masks. <laughs> so, I mean, and I know that's the same story for a lot of people. Tell me about your store. What do you carry in your store? We try to carry just about anything you would need to make a quilt. We have fabric, we have pre-cuts, we carry flannels and minky. Uh, pretty much that's it. We, As far as fabric goes, I don't step outside my lane. I keep it quilting. I don't have any apparel, Markets. fabric, or anything like that. I get asked often, but this no, no velvet, <laughs> nothing like that. Um, so quilting cotton, I stick to the reputable brands. Um, Give me a couple of brand names. Moda, Northcott, Wilmington, Riley Blade. Uh, the other ones, uh, we have some Poppy Cotton and Henry Glass. Okay, very so. good. And you have all the patterns. We carry we... A, we carry a lot of patterns. We try to carry all the pat. Well, it's impossible to carry all the patterns. We carry a lot of patterns. Right. We also kit. We started making kits, so we do have a lot of our fabric made into kits to make it easy for people. Um, I'm starting to carry more thread. We carry Orofil thread specifically. That's our main carry, but um, we also have Isocord for the people who like to embroider. And I'm starting to bring in more glide thread for our um, long armors who, a lot of our long armors like glide Like thread, glide, so. yeah, good, good. Okay, and you have all the tools and- Lots uh, of notions. We try to keep, uh, I try to keep things um, pretty simple carry creative grids, rulers. I kind of try to stay in my lane a bit. I, I don't try to venture too many different directions. Okay, great. Chris, I want to thank you again so much for letting me do this interview and letting me video your shop. And as I like to say, stay, stay crafty, crafty while shopping at Country Quilts and Fabric. Thank you so and much. Thank you. <laughs> if you like the video of the Country Quilts and Fabric store and my interview with Chris, please give me that thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get the notifications. Thanks for watching.